to Sarah Stampin' Retreat. Today we're going to make a box using this new suite which is called Your Peach. So we'll be creating our own DSP with the stamp set but there is some gorgeous DSP that combines with this suite so you could always use that instead if you don't want to stamp your own. We're just going to make a cute little gift box. So I'm starting with a piece of thick basic white cardstock that measures seven and a half inches square and I'm just going to stamp all over there. So I've got this leaf stamp and you can actually see in the set there's this leaf stamp and it combines so you can stamp this over and that and the peaches can go in the gaps or you can stamp this over and the flowers can go in the gaps. So it's really flexible and really gorgeous. So you could do either or, I'm going to use the peaches today but you could definitely use the flowers. So I want to stamp this all over and I'm using papers as ink. And I'm making sure to go off the sides and I'm just moving the way that I stamp it a little bit each time. Now I'm going to take my peaches and I'm going to take this new pale papaya colour and I'm just going to stamp those peaches so each time I'm just going to line them up so that they fit in those gaps so you can see you can line that up so that one of the stems goes into each one and then I'm going to go back over the um, peaches and I want like a two-tone image so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sponge dauber and my Calypso Coral ink and I'm just dabbing it on the Calypso Coral ink and then I'm dabbing the ink onto the side of my peaches and then I'm just going to stamp that over the peaches that are already there and because you can see through them then you can get a really good image over the top and you see how it just really brings them to life so I'm just going to do that for all the peaches now and because we're just dabbing it on with the sponge dauber it gives a really nice kind of subtle effect and it kind of blends quite nicely So now I've got this gorgeous peachy paper and this is going to be the base for my box. So I'm going to bring in my scoreboard and I'm going to score this at two and a half inches, at five inches on that side and then again at two and a half inches and at five inches on that side. And then while I've got my scoreboard here I'm going to do the lid as well. So my lid is a five and a half inch square piece of Pear Pizzazz cardstock and I'm going to score that at three quarters of an inch and one and a half inches on each side. And I'm not actually butting my cardstock up to the side, I'm just leaving it just a little bit away from the side and then I'm doing it at three quarters and one and a half inches. So I'm leaving it a little bit away, three quarters and one and a half inches and then a little way from the side and three quarters and one and a half inches so then I'm going to fold all the score lines on the base then I'm going to bring in my scissors and I'm just going to cut down here about a centimetre away from this score line here and then I'm going to cut all the way up this score line here So then you get this flap and it doesn't matter which side your flap is so you can cut up here or cut up there just as long as you have a flap in every corner so we've got a centimeter away from the score line and then straight up the score line and we're just going to the to the next score line along so about a centimeter up 
and then up here. I need to think of something to do with these because they are gorgeous. Okay, so then we've got these nice pieces. So then I'm just going to cut the corners off here. So I'm literally just cutting a little triangle from each of each side of each flap that just helps it go together a little bit better so then I'm going to take my tear and tape and I'm going to pop that along just next to each of these score lines so on each flap right up to the score line I'm just going to put a line of tape I'm just going to line up the score line with the edge. So I'm lining up this score line with this edge. Like that. And again on the other sides. So I'm just lining the score line up with the edge. Here we go. So then moving on to the lid, I'm just going to fold all these score lines again. I'm going to take my scissors and do you see we've got a square here with one, two, three, four squares within it. And I only want this square here. So I'm going to cut all the way up to the second score line here. So we're creating a big flap there. And I'm going to cut these two squares at the bottom off. So that's a rectangle. And then I'm going to cut this square here off. So then I'm left with a step and a flap. So I'm going up to the second score line and cutting across this score line here. I'm cutting up to this score line and I'm cutting off this piece here. So let's do this again. Up to the second score line cut off the bottom piece, up to this next score line and cut off this piece here, and then the same again. And then I'm going to go round each of these and I'm just going to cut a little triangle off each corner. So I'm going to do that with these small flaps and with these end flaps. So I'm just taking the triangles off just to the next score line. So then I'm just going to add a bit of tape just to the edge of each of these small flaps. And I'm just doing that right next to the score line on each of the small flaps. And then I'm just going to make sure that this score line here meets this edge here. So we're going to just like line those up nicely like that. So score line meets the edge. And then I'm going to bend these outwards. And then I'm going to put a little bit of tape just on this edge here. So again, I'm just going to fold those in like that. And then we've got a little lid for our box. So how cute does that look already? So for the, for the lid, I'm just going to just print this large peach and the leaves. And there are actually dies that coordinate with this set. So that you can see them very small down here. So you can get the dies to cut those out. But I'm actually going to cut this out by hand today because I want these as 
one piece whereas the die cuts them out separately and you kind of put them together. I know some people don't like fussy cutting so for some people the dies uh, a much nicer option. So I'm actually going to stamp this exactly the same as I stamped the smaller ones for the base of the box. So I'm going to use the pale papaya to just stamp that and then I'm just going to use my sponge, sponge dauber with the calypso coral just to pop some calypso coral over the top. And I'm just going to line that up. Just stamp that over there. And then I'm going to use my pepper zaz ink and the little leaf. And then I'm just going to pop that in there. So then I'm going to just grab my scissors and just cut this out. It's obviously a really easy little shape. I'm just going to leave a little white board around the outside. So I'm going to use the Sweet as a Peach stamp and the Calypso Coral ink. And I'm just going to stamp this onto a scrap of basic white cardstock and then I'm just going to cut a little a little rectangle around that and then that will make it the top of my box so I'm just going to grab some of my dimensionals I'm just going to put one in there and some on here And then there's our really cute little box. I really hope you enjoyed today's project. If you did, I'd appreciate you clicking like below. And you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future projects. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will notify you when I've got new videos available. All of the products that I've used to create this project are listed in the description below. And there's also a host code there, so if you pop the host code into your basket before you check out then I'll send you a free gift after the end of the month. Thank you so much for joining me today I hope to see you again soon.